no idea where to start here. Just to say hi, it's Todd and Cecilia. Hey everybody, we're back. I know it's been a while, but uh, sometimes life gets in the way. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pretty incredible month. Uh, anyway, we'll Aside. go into that another time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as you can tell, we've got a new setting here. It's mid-October, so it's a little too cool to sit out on the screen porch. So we've moved into... Our winter quarters, the den. The den and my office, because I work from home. Hey, today, guess who's going to cook? Oh, Not that's me. me. Not me. He's doing the cooking tonight. It's, it's getting to be fall, and uh, start thinking about those warm uh, comfort, comfort foods. foods. So uh, I thought of jambalaya, which has always been one of my favorites. Yep. But figured I was going to have to give it up when we started on our healthier eating and our healthier lifestyle. Right, and we've made this recipe a little more um, conducive to that. So um, he'll go over all that uh, when he describes all the ingredients and um, substitutions and things like that. So, yeah, And a big shout out to my uh, sister Leah, who uh, inspired us to make this. Uh, she posted a recipe. I picked up with it and ran with it. Yep, made it our own. So stay tuned for... Todd cooks, and he's a wonderful cook. So. Yeah, so uh, let's head into the kitchen. All righty, see you there. So for our jambalaya, you're going to need a chopped red bell pepper, one large chopped onion. We're using red onion because that's what we had on hand. Two stalks of chopped celery, a can of diced tomatoes, garlic, now, the recipe calls for three cloves, but around our house, you always go more than what the recipe says. So we're using about five here. And one tablespoon of tomato paste. The spice mixture is one half teaspoon of thyme, two teaspoons of oregano, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of onion powder, and one half teaspoon of onion salt. Okay, we're gonna start by heating up our extra virgin olive oil. I've got two tablespoons in there. And so we're gonna let that get warm and then we're gonna start sauteing the uh, chicken sausage. Now, you can use pork sausage, andouille, we're using the andouille chicken sausage because it's a little more healthy. So we're going to let this cook and get really nice and brown. And then we're going to take that out and then add the chicken. Okay, so our sausage is nice and brown now. And we're going to go ahead and... Put that into the crock pot and then start cooking the chicken. Smells so yummy. You know, this is one of our favorite dishes uh, in the colder weather. And when we started with our healthier journey, we thought it was something we were going to have to give up, but then we found this recipe and we don't have to give it up. Now we're going to put in the chicken. That's one pound of chicken breast. And we're going to let that brown real nice. Looks like the chicken is done. We've deglazed it to get all those tasty bits up off the bottom of the pan. And so now we're going to put it into the slow cooker and get ready for the rest of it. So here we go. Okay, so putting the, the chicken in. And now we're going to add all our vegetables. So we've got the two stalks of celery the onion, 
a large red bell pepper, the five cloves of garlic, can't let any of that go to waste, a can of the diced tomatoes, a tablespoon of tomato paste, and then our spice mixture. To that, I'm going to add two cups of chicken stock. Mix all this up. Here in a couple hours, we're going to be ready to eat. Okay, so to go with our jambalaya, we're going to use cauliflower rice instead of real rice because it's lower carbs and it's a little healthier. So I've heated up about, uh, about two tablespoons of oil in here for two packages of cauliflower rice. So I'm just gonna saute in here. And believe me, this is a nice substitute you rice. can't tell the difference. No, not not at all. So I'm going to saute this. I'm going to add, I'm not going to add any more salt because we have salt. Yeah, so we don't need any added salt. But I'm just going to spice it up a little bit more with some red pepper flakes. Maybe about a teaspoon after all it is Cajun, right? And I thought maybe a little bit of parsley might add a little bit of just something nice there, something fragrant. Because we do have a lot of spice in jambalaya. So, so this is going to take a little while to saute, but I kind of like to cook it like you would just brown rice, like you would just fry rice. And probably will take at least five to ten minutes to get this to where we want it. While Cecile's doing the cauliflower, it's almost done, so it's time to put the shrimp in. We don't want to put the shrimp in too early because it'll get overdone. So we do it since it's pre-cooked shrimp, we just want to put it in oh maybe two, three minutes before because we just wanted it to warm through. Mmm, that looks good. It smells yeah, it delicious. Does. It smells fantastic. Right the whole house smells delicious. <laughs> All right, so we got that done. Finish up the cauliflower and we'll be ready. So this cauliflower has been on for about 10 minutes. I've been sauteing this and stirring it on and off, letting it just um, cook. And I kind of like to get it dry, kind of a dry texture, and browned a little bit. And so it's been on high heat, like I said, for about 10 minutes. I think we are about ready here to serve. So join us at the table. All right, we're all plated up and ready to eat. Let's try this. This is one of our favorites. I love jambalaya. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so good. Yeah, the, it's spicy. It's warm. It's comforting on a cool October day like this. This is great. It is. And the rice, the cauliflower rice, you really can't tell the difference with real rice. No, you can't. And it's so much healthier. And the whole meal itself is healthy just because we've done a lot of substitutes. Mm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll see every time we upload a video. Till next time, you guys have a good one. See ya. Bye. Bye.